Hello guys, I'm Ryan Wright. And I'm Danielle. <laughs> yes, I love it. Personality. So, uh, Danielle and I are going to check out from DeBurk321, five incredibly disturbing things on the deep web. Have you heard of the site 4chan? No. 4chan and people make like some crazy posts on there like I, I just heard about one post where a guy was like I'm gonna commit suicide he did a live stream of it and there's like other horrible things about like killers anyway so then people were like if you have seen if you don't know what 4chan is fuck man just keep a lookout for when you learn about the deep web oh I'm excited so I'm like all right this must be really fucked up and since Halloween is around the corner let's do this the deep web is the part of the internet that cannot be accessed through standard search engines. Nope. It's accessed through Tor, which offered privacy to those who used it. However, this newfound privacy was quickly taken advantage of by criminals who could now conduct crimes over the internet in peace. The deep web became a hub that grew disturbing communities and websites. For that reason, I've compiled a list of just that. Before we begin though, I'd like to warn you that these disturbing stories feature very graphic imagery. I do not right. to tone down the triggering material in most of these creepy videos because <sighs> I'm not trying to put you in mental asylums here. But with the deep web, it was almost unavoidable. But if you're still here, sit back, relax, tape your webcams, and join me for five incredibly disturbing things on the deep web. Kind of Number excited. One, the Red Room. <laughs> too. Someone working at a gas station details his experience with the deep web. He was given an onion link from a guy who often shopped there. He decided to browse the deep web, and after clicking countless hyperlinks, he stumbled upon what appeared to be a live stream. There were up to 200 people logged into the chat room, most of who were prompting the live stream to start. There was also a user that was highlighted, who appeared to be the director of the stream. When the stream began, there were two men standing, and a woman who was tied up. The director prompted the men to hit her and continue to leave malicious commands until eventually telling them to gouge out her eyes. Oh my the god! Attacking her, typed something into the chat box, yeah. which read the words, 500 more. That's when the gas station employee came to the chilling realization that they were doing this live stream for a mere $500. The director agreed to this amount, and the men carried out his wishes, eventually killing her. After which, a chilling message popped up in the chat box. It read, Thanks for watching. Next live stream, one hour. Number two is Sad Satan, a game that apparently started on the surface web until it was taken down. It was brought back to life by the Reddit community as they tried to unravel the mystery behind this game. After this, the game was remade, only it was placed on the deep web due to its new features containing very disturbing content. Interesting. The new content featured disturbing audio, which, if listened to, could make the player sick. It also featured child pornography and child brutality. If you're thinking of playing it, make sure you play it on safe mode, as certain players have explained they still feel sick when thinking about the imagery and audio the game exposed them to. Let's play Number it. three is human experiments. What? The idea that terrible human experiments riddle the deep web might be slightly fabricated, but it does exist. And this story is a good example of the messed up things that can happen on the deep web. After browsing around, someone found what appeared to be a website dedicated to human experiments. The owners of the site kidnapped people, brought them to various warehouses, and conducted horrific experiments on them. The victims were usually homeless people, but it also ranged from toddlers to teenagers. Oh, the experiments were usually to see how much pain a human being could sustain before dying. One guy browsing the website saw a chat box pop up. The owner of the site was on the other end. The guy was asked if he liked the site. When he said it was sick and he was going to call the cops, the owner responded quickly with the guy's name and his entire address. The guy visiting the site quickly exited and called the cops. Because Tor doesn't save any history, all traces of the site were gone from the computer and impossible to access. The guy decided to move house as he feared whoever owned the site would find them. The site is only available now through archive websites. However, the people who ran it haven't been caught and are more likely still operating in some way. Number four is pay the price. The deeper you get when browsing the dark web, the more likely you are to find websites that have tough layers of security. Sites you can only enter with a membership, which is extremely difficult to obtain. Okay. So for the most part, we'll never really know what's going on in the absolute deepest parts of the internet. Oh, shit. However, one brave Reddit user might have changed that. 
as they've been to the depths of the web and have come back to detail their experience. They began receiving information by talking to some shady individuals in various chat rooms. They had some phone calls, but eventually they got invited to visit one of the restricted websites. Before they were allowed to enter, they had to go through a number of tests and had to have a one-on-one -on -one Skype call with the admin. They eventually got in and found out it was a video sharing service that allowed people to upload videos and sell them to those interested. To merely be a member of the site, you had to pay the equivalent of $350 in Bitcoin. Even then, you still had to pay to watch the videos that were uploaded. The person who was visiting the website bought access to one of these videos and quickly found out why this website was so heavily secured. They were distributing snuff films. The one the visitor stumbled upon featured a group of men attacking and killing a homeless man in an alley. The visitor quickly left the site, but their experience shows us an example of the system used in the darkest parts of the deep web. Number 5 is Real Life Dolls. In 2012, what? a 4chan user posted an account of his personal experience on the deep web. He said that he found a website that sold real life dolls. In his post, he said that the website was made by a surgeon who oh, kidnapped no. and abused girls as young as 10. The surgeon would then strip away their sense of smell, taste and hearing and remove their teeth so they could not speak. He then sold them for up to $40,000. A lot of 4chan users chose not to believe this post, as there was no evidence backing it and it was a bit too messed up. It was also said it was impossible to find unless you randomly found it through the hidden wiki's countless hyperlinks. It was dismissed until somebody actually found it and were smart enough to take a screen cap. The website turned out to be even creepier than the 4chan user explained as it detailed very thoroughly the messed up surgeon's operation. Although it has been found, People still believe the website is somebody's messed up idea of a joke, and hopefully that's true. And that's it for this video guys, I don't think I've ever been happier to end a video because god damn it there are some messed up people out there. Regardless, I hope you enjoyed and if you did don't forget to hit that like button and possibly consider subscribing though, it could be fun, you never know. <laughs> Either way, I'll see you in the next video and I hope you enjoyed your taped webcam- I don't know, it doesn't really make sense. REACTION! That was some pretty dark <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> it was. Oh, God. Where do you think it all happened? I'm saying, like, what state? What state? Florida. Yeah, this is all this is Florida behavior. Florida. <laughs> it was so creepy. Oh, man, they were all... It's... I love it, though. I love scary. You love... I like scary, too, but this is, like, real shit of people actually... Like, the first one with the... Uh, uh, of the eyes. Yeah, how they like killed someone and people are like paying for this live stream for only 500 bucks. No, that's messed up. That's messed up. But. Hate to say it's kind of a deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Totally oh fucking my around, guys. My god. <laughs> I'm just joking. She went there. Yeah, I went there. I'm sorry. That's so disrespectful but, what I said. I'm yeah, sorry. It's gonna be cutting, cutting this. Maybe I should cut that out. <laughs> I hate to admit it. But, you know, fuck it. Let's just be a little bit more unique than everyone else. Okay. There is something tempting about looking at this stuff. Oh my god, yeah. Because it's out there and available, I don't necessarily want to support it and help it grow. No. But a part of me kind of wants to check out, like, something on there. Do you remember that website that you would... I forgot what it's called, but it's a website you go to and it had pictures of, like, dead like dead bodies. Like, one... Like, a train ran over. Oh. Or someone who was decapitated. But, like, real light... Like, real pictures of no. it. No. Oh, I used to look at it when I was a kid all the time. Oh, did you touch yourself to that? A little bit. A little bit. Okay, Daniel. <laughs> no! I did not, but it was creepy and cool. Not cool. Oh, God. The Satan game. Can you actually, can we play that? A apparently. Like, how do we get there to play it? You want to play it. Yeah, you I do. mean, I want to see if I really will be There's sick. like child pornography and stuff in there. There's like real things in there. Okay. But like, I really want to see- What do you mean, if, okay? I just want to see if I'll get- if I really will get sick. You really want to test out if Besides you're immune or not to child, child pornography? pornography? That wasn't the main part. Play that child pornography, let's oh see if God. I get sick. It was not the main part. The other stuff. I'll fast forward over the child pornography, that'll make you feel better. That would make me feel a okay. lot better. I'll go fast over that. Dark video, dark humor. Goes hand in hand, people.
Oh, we're gonna go to hell. Yeah, well, I don't believe in hell, but I do believe in heaven. And I gotta admit, the third story about how they would like take homeless people and perform crazy human experiments on them, I feel like that would be an interesting movie to watch. I feel like there's movies that are similar along those lines, but you know, imagine a trailer for it and you're like, based on a true story. Yeah. That would be terrifying. That, Hollywood, I'm trying to give you an idea. Seriously, that would be so creepy, but like, that's such a good idea. And no, not like to really do to people. <laughs> Don't laugh because you actually think it is, please. No, no, please. I'm not laughing. Don't, don't be, don't let that be the reason you're laughing. I'm not laughing at that. <laughs> Just be careful what you say. Daniel. I'm trying. The real life dolls one. I hate to say this, but it's true. I could see you being a real life doll. Me? Yeah, I could see you being a real life doll. Um, I don't think you'd be sold for forty thousand though. More or less. Probably a lot less. I'm thinking like, at least cut down like 30%. It's <laughs> only totally fucking around. This guy is so mean to me. Oh my God. That, no, but real. okay, so if you really think about it, like who would want that? People will be like, these people are sick, but there's also a, yeah, obviously, but there's also this other part where if you're participating in it and buying it, fascination with something is one thing. Participating in it, totally different story. Um, yeah, if you're buying live babies. Yeah. With Ooh. no sense of anything. Yeah. Then you just got like, but I feel like they'd be boring human beings. Yeah. They're just babies. I'm willing to make jokes because they said they don't know if that's 100% true or not. <laughs> that one's not, we don't know. Yeah. It's we don't know for sure. sure so. But that one's, just, oh, you know what he looks like? Well, yeah. I mean, we got to learn about the deep web today. Very fascinating. When do, can I go into the deep web whenever I want? I don't know how to access the deep web. We need to but I know it's real. Like they, they have, th I've heard of this shit before. To, to actually see like imagery, just stills of like little things was like, oh my creepy. God, I can only imagine what you actually see. Yeah, it was creepy, but I, I really would like to access the deep web at some time. When I was young, there was this highway patrol chase happening and then a guy got out of the car and then blew his head off and the cameras didn't pull away in time. And that was kind of traumatizing for me to see a guy blow his head off on live TV. Yeah. Now I've seen a lot of heads being blown off in movies. Yeah, but that's not. But, but when you see like real violence, yeah. it, it's so it's something totally different. Well, yeah, that horrible thing that just happened to the news person on TV, the reporter, and the disgruntled guy who worked in the news station, and he came and he shot her during her. I didn't know about that. On live TV. Oh, I didn't know about that. It was everywhere for a very long time. It's all any. It was a huge news story. I only browsed the Yahoo Entertainment section. I'm, I can't believe it wasn't there. Not in the entertainment section. Anywhere you would go, it would be there. Don't you get CNN alerts to your phone? What? <laughs> you don't get CNN alerts? If you guys are new to the channel, you can subscribe today and become a reject a re reject a re 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 reject. A reject anus. And Danielle can't promote anything for her. I like food. She's just a friend who's here with me today. But why don't you guys leave some comments about what you think she can do with her life. Oh God. Besides porn. Don't make porn jo jokes. No more porn jokes. Oh God. Yeah, no, I don't want people to be talking about you doing a porno. Why? Because what if you feel inspired and then you decide to do it and then you just ruin everyone's life by watching this porn. <laughs> sorry. I like make, actually, I'm do sorry. they make money? Do porn? Yeah. Yeah, porn actresses make money. What about yeah. on like two bait and shit? They don't make money. Well, you know, get enough views. Same thing with YouTube. You could pack in some dough. <laughs> there you go. I know the YouTube world. Imagine what I could do eyes? with the porn world. <laughs> can you open my? Can you put porn on YouTube? No, no you right. definitely can't. But can you I have a nakedness. Like naked? Depends. Oh. All right, let's go. <laughs>